I'm sure you all know this lady if you uh, have watched the movies or gone to the theater or watched television any time in your life. She is really a fine actress. She's received 15 nominations during her career, four for Oscars, four for Emmys, six Tonys, and one Grammy. Last night, she won her first Oscar as Best Supporting Actress. She'll be starring in The Glass Menagerie in Denton, Texas, April 16th and 17th. Would you welcome Maureen Stapleton? Congrats. I suppose you're getting sick and tired of people coming up to you today or calling you and saying, congratulations, congratulations, Kurt. Are you not getting tired of that? No, I'm not getting tired of that. Well, would you like to try it? Oh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't yeah. like being cold. I was really happy for you. Oh, I was, that too. Was nice. I, I was Yeah, first of all, I've got a telegram here. I've got to read. What? On behalf of all the proud citizens of Troy, New York. Oh, my Lord. Oh. I would like to send our sincere congratulations to Troy's number one goodwill ambassador, Maureen Stapleton, for her Oscar-winning performance in Reds. Francis J. Flynn, uh, the mayor of the city of Detroit and the city Troy, council Troy. of Troy City Hall. Uh, right. There you are, from the mayor. <laughs> a piggy. That's my... That's yeah. my... Favorite. That's your hometown? Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice of the mayor to it's do that? It's very nice. Yeah. Why wouldn't you call Helen? That would have been nice, wouldn't it? There Helen and no Troy. There were wise guys around. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been a dirty trick. <laughs> yeah. Is, is this what you wore last night? Yes, indeed. It's, yeah. These are borrowed. These are Carol Mathau's. <laughs> this I paid for. Uh, and the shoes I paid. No, I didn't pay for the shoes. <laughs> Freebie shoes? Uh, who's, who's that shoes was from are? some show I did a long time ago. Oh, you ago. mean you get to keep the uh, wardrobe after the show sometime? The ones I usually wear, you don't really want to keep. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you get this dress specifically for the, oh, yes. for the show last night? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I was going to wear it tonight because it cost a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, when I looked at it, it, it looked like this last night. Yeah. And this morning I went in the closet and I looked, and it looked like a used handkerchief. It was just brown. No, it's very pretty. Really it's very nice. That? Very nice, really. Thank you. Yeah. But this is pretty. That is really pretty. That's a. It's thing. fake, but it. <laughs> You didn't have to say that. Well, in case I get mugged. In oh, I see. <laughs> well, if there's any place you're likely to get mugged, it's right here at NBC. Were you now? This probably sounds like. Were you surprised last night? That I mean. Yeah, you go back and forth. Because you've and been up. It... You've been up for Oscar nominations for four times. Yeah. I don't mind losing anymore, but it's hard on your family and your friends. You, know? <laughs> you think, oh Lord, I don't want to let them down again. Oh, but it's but... not losing. My goodness me. I mean, the nomination is winning is, is better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's nice to be nominated, but I've always wondered about the sincerity when actors. I know they mean it, but when they get up and say, "It's just honor enough being nominated," and uh, it is a great That's honor, nice. but it's, it is nicer too. I, also, I just like a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> did you have uh, Did you have your little speech prepared? No. I know it's because you thanked everyone you had ever met in the world, My right? Entire life. In your entire life. Well, I wanted to be sure I covered all things. I thought that was good because I got it all out of the way immediately. Thank everybody yeah. you ever met in your life. Yes. I think Jane Fonda started a dangerous precedent last night when what? she thanked. Well, she thanked the state. Oh, I didn't. No, she came out and she thanked New Hampshire. Oh, well. Now that's you know what's going to happen because films are done all over the world. And if they start thanking oh, countries, oh, I never somebody's going to want to thank the people of England and Madagascar <laughs> and Honduras and the Spanish army. That could get out of hand. <laughs> enough is enough. I never thought of that. Yeah. You had no, do you remember what you said? No, I know I... I you thanked I, everybody I you'd ever met here. I tried to get in my family, right. the city, my hometown, and right. uh, everybody I'd ever met. Anywhere. Anywhere. Ever. Covered it all. I left out anybody I'm liable to meet for the yeah. rest of my life. But I want to go on record now for anybody I'm liable to meet for the rest of my life. You should thank life. them. Yeah, and get it all out of the way. Uh, will this make, does this make a big difference in an actor or actress's career? I don't really know. Um, I, 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 out of the standpoint of the recognition, I'm talking about financial... Um, oh, I don't think so. Yeah? No. I think it makes a difference... It, for the picture that wins, I think that makes a difference, doesn't it, in the box office? I, I also think it makes a difference. Your agent has put your price up again. Yes. You swear? I promise. 
Do we have to pay Maureen more tonight because no, of this, Freddie? No, no, no. Uh, same price? Oh, no. Okay, no. we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. I'll even give uh, you money back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, take a break and we'll be back. We're back. We're talking with uh, Maureen Stapleton and Roger Moore. Okay. Have you seen the, have you seen the other movies that were up for a uh, nomination? I haven't seen any of them. Aren't you a moviegoer? Yeah. Only old ones, like on the late show. Like Really? Like, yeah. Have you seen, well, you must have seen Reds. No. <laughs> but that's what you won for. I know, but then I didn't see it for so long. And then I thought I'd... It'd be bad luck if I saw <laughs> That's funny. I'll see it now. But you haven't seen Atlantic City or no. Golden Pond or... Nothing. Um, Chariots of Fire? No. What was the other ones up? I left one out. Raiders of the Lost Ark? No. But I you sort of stopped have to with... Go and see it. Gone if with you the should, wind. If Warren should send to your house a projectionist... Absolutely. ...and uh, well. build a room if you haven't got a room there already. <laughs> I mean, you're entitled to it. You've done a great deal for his film. Did Apart from you your see? performance. Winning. Oh, my. Just listen to Roger. You call him tomorrow. I'm going to call him. Say, do you know... You cheap no good. <laughs> I want a projection and a movie over here. You know what Roger Moore We're going to show... Speaking of Reds, we're going to show a film clip. <clears throat> well, at least you'll see two well, minutes of it. I, uh, uh, I don't know what the scene is. I, I, I have a cigarette certainly hope Maureen is. I certainly uh, hope Maureen is in this. <laughs> well, I think I've seen this All right, film. Let's, let's run it. This is a two-minute film clip from Reds, for which Miss Stapleton won... The award last night. What have you heard? Not much. What have you heard? I don't hear. I wait. You get letters from America, E.G.? Oh, yes. All open by the Justice Department. I hope they enjoy what they read. I don't. Anybody mention Louise? Wait. Reese Williams mentioned her in his letter. He hasn't heard from her either. What did he say? I think he said... He tried to reach you sometime after Christmas, but she left New York. How long ago was that? Well, you know, these letters take a couple of months to get you. Can I see it? I'm sorry. Dad, sit down. If Louise were to come here, she'd have to leave the United States illegally, then live in exile with you and never go home again. All for the sake of a revolution she was never any part of. Why should she? You chose the life of a revolutionary. She didn't. Your cables only focus the Justice Department's attention on her. And the most seditious thing they can accuse her of is being your wife. Leave her alone. Let her choose her own future. Why hasn't she answered me? I think she has answered you. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you something. I want to ask you something. I was watching... Now, I want to ask you something. I was watching you while you were watching that monitor up there, and you kept doing this. You're going... <laughs> you did. You went... And you looked, and you went... <laughs> like you was... Like you was... Now, what, you don't like what you do? You don't like to watch yourself or what? Oh, I'm, I'm never aware of what I do. I'm aware of what I look like. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> you, you kept going, hmm. Oh, no. Oh, come on now. Tell us the truth. Did, can I ask a question? Sure. Did you get to fool around with Warren a little? No. <laughs> I just want to find out if it's true. He stopped somewhere short of madness. <laughs> What's your all-time favorite movie? It's going to be an old one. I know it's not going to be current. Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Yeah. Clark Gable. You were in love with Clark Gable as a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not a fact, though. And Robert Taylor. Both no babies. <laughs> oh, yes. Who else? Who else did you like as a kid? Well, Robert Taylor, Joel McRae. Yeah, you mentioned that the other night. Yeah. Now, a lot of people said, Joel McRae, he hasn't been active in motion pictures for a number of years. He's retired yeah. now. Well, he's still a, he's a rancher. I mean, he's uh, yeah, but that he is, works. Well, I mean, he's not in motion pictures. I mean, 
The no. last film he did, with, I think, was with Randolph Scott. No, that was Ride the High Country. Oh, wasn't it? It wasn't really. the last one, though. Wasn't, it was not no, the last one. No, the last one he did was Mustang County, which I tried to be in very hard. I called my agent, and I heard he was going to make a movie. You want to be? I want to be in that movie. I don't care what the part is. I don't care if they pay me. I want to be in that movie. Does he know you feel this way? He does now. No. <laughs> Call this woman immediately, Joel. Uh, we'll be right back. Stay where you are. <laughs> okay, we are back. What are you laughing, Maureen? <laughs> Oh. Anyway, congratulations again. It's nice to see you win it after you. four nominations. You really deserved it. Yeah, you really, you're such a good actress. I like the way I deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you come back. Remember when we used to do the Mighty Carson Art Players? Oh, we did sketches yes. together? I loved it. Now that you've got the, uh, boy, I mean to say we've got an Academy Award winner doing the Mighty Carson Art Players. You know, George C. Scott used you to like do sketches with us. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Have a nice night.